10 months ago, Donald Giusti was severely beaten here in Lewiston near Kennedy Park. He later died in the hospital. Now, after months with no answers, three arrests have been made, and his family says this is their first step towards closure. You know, it's been a long time. Jim Thompson and his family wondered if this day would ever come. No family should ever have to go through what my family's gone through. Nearly one year after his nephew, Donald Giusti, was beaten to death, and months of wondering if anyone would ever be arrested, a break in the case. The phone call this morning around 7.15. It was the news he and his family had been waiting for. Three arrests. Pierre Musafari and a 13-year-old boy for assault. A 17-year-old for manslaughter. I just hope they can find it into their hearts to have some remorse for what they did. Thompson says the months leading up to these arrests saw major tensions in the Lewiston community, something he and others have been working tirelessly to combat through their Peace in the Park project. All this fighting and hatred and, and things like that, you know, it's not good for anybody. Not good for Donnie, not good for our family, not good for our community. Lewiston's mayor, Kristen Cloutier, echoing that message in a statement, saying, as the mayor of Lewiston, I hope that we will come together as a community to grieve and process our losses, but also get to know our neighbors. She goes on to say she wants to see her community build relationships that will strengthen our community bonds and prevent tragic events like this from happening in the future. We need closure. For Thompson and the rest of his family, closure is what is most important now, while finding ways to prevent another family from going through this kind of loss. There's bad aches out there. There is, they're always gonna have that. But not only can, can, can uh, police our own communities to make it safe for our children so this tragedy doesn't happen again. The two juveniles that were arrested have been transported to Long Creek Correctional Facility in South Portland. They're both expected to make their first court appearances by Friday. As for the 23 year old, he's being held at the Androscoggin County Jail in Auburn. Police say he'll be in court on June 12th. In Lewiston, Samantha York, New Center, Maine.